Hi everyone, this is Bradley. Recently I have seen this animation due to a discussion brought up by someone on Facebook asking how to do this animation. I will post the link in the description so you can know more about it. The original author actually posted it on Twitter about what happens behind the scene Blender, but at the time I still didn't know how to do that. In the discussion on Facebook, generally there are two ways being mentioned. One is to manually use keyframes, drivers and so on, but it seems a lot of workload and it doesn't seem practical. The other proposed solution is to use physical simulation. In fact, this animation is realistic in the real world. Harvard University even made a model for this pendulum wave that you can watch how it works on YouTube. But at the time, I didn't know how this worked well. I ended up using animation nodes to complete this animation, but later I found out ways how to use physical simulation in 5 minutes. Today I mainly teach you the principle using physical simulation, and I will give you an idea about how I use animation nodes to do that work. So let's start to do the actual animation. Firstly, I need to add a cube and scale that down, and I need to an arrow axis, put both of them onto the skies, and then I need to add a pass. I will only need two vertex, so I'll clean both of them. And snap one to where the cube is, and snap the other two to the world origin. And then I need to add the UV sphere. If I uh, select the UV sphere first and then select our splines, uh, goes to edit mode and hit Ctrl H, hook to select the object. And then if I select the cube and select a spline again, goes to edit mode and hook to select the object. So that the spline will have two modifier to sphere and the cube. And now if I'm moving this sphere, then the spline will also move with that. If I bevel these splines, then a string has been made. The next thing for physical simulation is I need to add a rigid body to our sphere and I will turn down the damping translation so that the pendulum can work forever without energy loss. I go to the cube and turn on the rigid body but I set the type into passive. I also need to set a rigid body constraint and set the type into point. I need to select both cube and sphere. So now I also need to parent this sphere to our arrow axis. So if I rotate this arrow axis, the sphere will move with that. And also the um, and also our string will also work move with that. So now if I rotate this axis, so now if I rotate this empty, the sphere and the string will both rotate with that. To speed up this entire animation, I need to turn up the speed of rigid body width and I'll probably increase the timelines and also increase the end of this cache system. So now if I play this animation, the basic pendulum has been worked out. So what if I need multiple pendulum for a pendulum wave? I need to select this axis, Alt R to clean the order rotations. And I also need to set a new empty for a control. So it can be any types, so it does not really matter. So we add a copy rotation constraint, select it to our empty, I will name it a master control. And I will hide this master control and duplicate the entire system. I'll probably put them into a collection first, just call it a pendulum. I will copy these entire systems. Uh, you can set a so this is the basic setup. Next thing I need to do is to use a feature which is only available since Blender 2.81 is to affect the parents. So now if I select both plane axis and the cube and just uh, move them up to create a kind of slope or gradient.
So I think this setup has been basically done. If we go to the master control, select the master control and rotate that to a certain amount, and it goes to the x-axis, basically this animation has been done. So now if we play this animation, this pendulum wave has been made. So this is basically the principle of this pendulum wave animation. Uh, you can do more stuff like to control the distance between all this pendulum and other, other things um, in this setting. But this is basically done. So this is basically the principle about how physical simulation can create this pendulum wave animation. Uh, this is a super fast real-time rendering. The problem, however, is that the modeling aren't very procedural. You have to set the distance precisely by yourself, and once the physical simulation is on, you lost control to the system. At the time, while I don't know how to use rigid body constraint well enough to set up this in animation, I used the animation node to do the work. It turns out it becomes more complicated, but I'm still satisfied with results, and I would like to share uh, the entire setting with you in another video. So I probably, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you can watch the other tutorial as well because I think it's very interesting. So see you next time. Bye bye.